Um, and so at this time, I'd like to call up uh, selling head coach Joy, Jeff Roy again. Uh, and I think um, Jeff um, is a 1985 graduate of Shelton High School. He has a 23-year coaching career, Shelton, right? 13 years as head coach. And um, I believe Jeff, Jeff has never lost a uh, Thanksgiving Day game. Uh, um, it's my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker. Uh, I've known this guy for 20 plus years. It was my first year coaching in 1994 when I met uh, Tim Kiley. He was a junior, um, another five foot five type of guy, and I, I was coaching defense five six. We'll give him five six, and uh, he was you know one of the best linebackers on the team. And I looked at him, wow, this kid's a linebacker. He's tiny. And then I watched him play, uh, and he played with a ton of heart. He was all over the field making tackles. Uh, his senior year, the following year, uh, in 1995, he was a captain of our state championship team, uh, and he led us to, to victory. Uh, he was uh, voted All-State, an All-State linebacker in 1995, and followed in his father's footsteps. His father was an All-State li uh, lineman, correct? His father was an All-State lineman on the, on the Derby 1969 team. Um, so they go way back in, in, in Valley tradition. Um, he is now uh, lives in Shelton and, and has a couple of kids. His, his boys with him today, and uh, I'll let you. <laughs> um, he is a New Haven firefighter, and uh, he's a captain down there. Last year, he got named battalion chief um, down there in the New Haven uh, firefighter. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker, Tim Kiley. Thanks, Coach. Uh, I, too, would like to thank the Rotary Club for continuing this uh, great tradition. Um, and I'd also like to thank the players, because uh, without your dedication and all your hard work over your four years, this tradition wouldn't be, none of us would be here. All right, so great job, guys. Uh, so as Coach Roy said, uh, for me, this game goes back to when I was a kid. Um, my father played for the Derby back in the late 60s when, I guess, that, that was what, what it was, the Derby, the 69 Red Raiders, one of the best teams in the state, uh, state history. So growing up as a kid, it's all I had to hear about was the 69 Red Raiders, 69 Red Raiders. But as a kid, going to the games with my father, there was two things I wanted, I knew for sure I wanted to be. I wanted to be just like my father, like most kids. Um, and I wanted to play football. But there was one difference. I grew up in Shelton. I wanted to play for Shelton. We'd go to the games on Thanksgiving, and when it was in Derby, I'd beg my father to sit on the Shelton side. He had to sit on the Derby side. Um, but when it was in Shelton, we'd get to sit on the Shelton side. Um, so, 21 years later, uh, I'm a senior, I, you know, senior captain. Um, and sitting right out here like you guys. Uh, I wish I could remember the speaker. I don't. I don't. Um, so most likely you guys aren't going to remember a word I say, but maybe something will stay. We'll see. <laughs> um, so that year we were in the same exact shoes as you guys. We had, one, we had two losses. Uh, we were going in, into the derby game. We win. We're in the States. Um, we were, we were heavily, not heavily favored, but we were, we were favored to win um, going into that game. And to say the least, that game was a dog fight. Uh, they gave us everything they had. Uh, I think it was 7 nothing at halftime, maybe. Uh, Coach DeFelice was a senior with me. Um, and we scored a couple of late touchdowns to win 22 to nothing. But it was, to me, even though we went on to win a state championship, that game was what I had worked so many years to get to. To play on the field against Derby, we played at Derby my senior year. And for whatever reason, I always liked playing at Derby. Just something about going to that field. When I was a kid, my grandmother lived down the street from there. We'd go to that field on, on Saturdays, because they played Saturdays then, there's no lights. Uh, my grandmother would watch us, my parents were at work, and you could hear the game. You could, you could hear the, the announcement of the game. It was almost like listening to it on the radio. Um, so it was special for me to go to that, that field uh, where my father had 
had so much glory uh, uh, and win a game that that meant so much to my whole team it was was just a great win. Um, but with that being said, to me, there's so much more to high school football than just wins and losses and 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 all that. It's, this is what it's about right here, coming together. They throw around words in uh, in football, at practice, uh, in the locker room, words like family, pride, tradition. To me, the biggest word, heart. All right, when I think of these words, I think you guys are sitting out here with your friends now. You have your families at home, but this this is your football family. For the rest of your life, you're gonna you're gonna remember these guys. This is you're gonna come back from college. You're gonna say you're gonna get together with these guys, and what are you gonna talk about? You're gonna talk about football. All right. Me this this weekend, I'm gonna get together with my friends. What are we gonna talk about? Football. football. <laughs> You're going to go to college, whatever. The guys you become friends with in college, you're going to gravitate towards guys that played high school football. All right? It's such a part of your life. The amount of work you put into it, it's going to become, your, this is going to be your family. And I think back to my father, when I was a kid, I knew all of his friends. They were all Derby football players. It was family. All right? And tradition. I look at this. This is a great tradition. Right? You know, in Shelton, you still have the traditions of senior dinners, going to the field before the game, the night before. Uh, you still burn your regrets. You know, this tradition all feeds into the family. I brought my son here today to see this because this is great tradition, and I want him to feel the same way I felt when I was a little kid. Um, but the most important thing is heart, all right? I look like Anthony here, small guy. You know, I had heart. And where I learned that heart from my father. I looked at my father. He was about the same size as me. He was, you know, maybe a little smaller. Um, he was two-time All-State uh, guard for Derby. On one of the best teams in, uh, in history at that time. I think Cheshire or Ansonia maybe has the record now. But at that time, they had the most wins in the state or, uh, in a row. So I looked at him uh, growing up and I said, man, he... That's, that's what heart is. That's what heart is. You know, whatever you want to call it. Heart, determination. Um, and everybody has a heart, but not everybody has heart. Right? You know, you know deep down what you're made of. What happens when, when the guy next to you makes a mistake? Do you pick him up and say, say, all right, we're going to get him again next time? Or you say, what the hell are you doing? You know? So you know, and you could change. You might, you might not have had heart ever, but it could change, right? Working hard at practice. Um, and another thing with heart, I look back about the, you know, talking about the upsets in the years, the six, you know. Um, heart plays into that big time. The team, I go back to my senior year. My team, we had, we had about a few less seniors than you, uh, but we had heart. And we played against a derby team that was probably second to us in the amount of heart they had. And they, that, that's no lie. I still see some of those guys now, you know. And there's nowhere else, I don't think, in the country where, where there's two teams that could be on the field and it not matter what the record is, um, where heart comes into what happens at the end of the game. Um, and when I talk about heart, too, I'm talking about leadership, all right? Leadership is going to be what gets you through the rest of your life, okay? You're going to leave here, you got one more game, maybe a few more, Shelton, if you guys win. The things you learn as a, as a high school football player, for me, being a leader, you're all seniors. You're all leaders, whether you're a captain or not. I was a captain on my team. We had 22 seniors on my, my team, I believe. We had 22 leaders. Everybody's a leader, all right? Whether you know it or not. You look at, I look at my son over here, he's looking at you guys, you're, you're, you're leaders, all right? Be a leader, not a follower, in everything you do, all right? Um, and with that, strive for excellence in everything that you do. Excellence in your life, excellence on the football field. Take pride. Remember these words, because these words are what, what is going to matter 
years from now, not on Thursday. It's going to matter Thursday too. But what makes what's really going to make the difference is what you do with the rest of your life. Um, I want to wish both teams good luck on Thursday. Stay safe. Have fun. Um, try to get some sleep Wednesday night. I know I didn't sleep much Wednesday night before my game. Um, it's a it's a bittersweet moment. Souping up for that last time. Um, it's bittersweet, but it's it's also it's going to be one of the proudest moments of your life, uh, for sure. I wish you good luck and uh, thank you.